Hello everyone. I am fortunate enough to be given the opportunity to share my experience of 30 years of journey as a woman in science and technology. I joined MIT way back in 1990 as a young scientist just fresh out of college and seeing this opportunity to work in the government of India department. In fact, when I joined I still remember I was only a girl in my division of 9 of for 10 officers. The things have changed since then, and now we have at least 20% of female officers in our group. As a young girl who had lived a sheltered life in a small city with her parents, staying in a metro like Delhi all alone, and itself was a daunting challenge at that time. Coming to Delhi, looking for an accommodation somewhere close to office, with safety as the uppermost criteria, was another challenge that I had faced. But uh, during my course of this. Uh, stand i've always tried to make it in time to office just to ensure that i do not ask for any relaxation or cuts just because i'm a woman and i used to ensure that i complete my job in time with utmost sincerity and to my satisfaction as my career progressed so did my responsibilities being a woman i was always inclined towards supporting the marginalized community like taking up projects for women's safety and the northeast I also got the opportunity to initiate flagship programs like Microsoft Development Program and I proudly witnessed the first booting of 64 bit indigenous processor. I was also part of the endeavor for supporting state of the art nanofabs and witnessed the journey of the country for hosting the nanofabs to a stage now where we are taking the step to not only set up mega fabs but also support state of the art areas to load these fabs. I was and in the end I would just say that uh as I'm inspired by Gargi the great mathematician I would like that by the time I superannuate my professional journey should be able to inspire more girls and so the chain continues thank you